On the 15th of July, 1992, 23-year-old Rachel Nickell went on a walk with her son Alex and her dog on Wimbledon Common. Rachel and Alex were enjoying their summer walk at around 10.20am when they felt something was wrong. According to Alex, they both turned their heads at the same time to face a tall, white male. Alex was pushed onto the ground whilst his mother was stabbed around 49 times and was sexually assaulted. The man then flees. Two-year-old Alex picked up his mother's banknotes from the ground and placed them on her wounds, as if they were plasters. A woman came across the body of Rachel and the blood-soaked Alex by her side. Rachel Nickell was born on the 23rd of November 1968 in Great Totham. She was described as charitable and was known to help those in need. Whilst working as a lifeguard in the late 1980s, she met an Andre Hanscom. Years later, they had a son, Alex. They moved to South London. The shocking case aired on Crime Watch, the aim being to catch the perpetrator of the heinous murder of Rachel. The police were able to create an artist sketch based on little Alex's witness statement. There were thousands of calls from worried civilians trying to help find the murderer. However, on the 27th of August 1992, a neighbor calls the police to say that a man by the name of Robert Napper resembles the photo fit of the green chain rapist. Napper is contacted and asked to give a blood test but fails to turn up. Another neighbour calls in about Napa on the 3rd of September and he fails to turn up for yet another blood test. On the 18th of September 1992, an individual by the name of Colin Stagg is arrested and released without charge after people called in suggesting that he resembled the artist's sketch. On the 23rd of April 1993, Napa's fingerprints were found on a tin buried in Wynn's Common it contained a handgun, but he was not pursued by law enforcement. In July 1993, a couple reported Napa as they saw him peeping at their neighbour. He is questioned but not pursued. On the 17th of August, Stagg is charged with the murder of Rachel Nickell. Colin Stagg was 31 and lived in Roehampton at the time of the murder. He was known to take his dog on walks on Wimbledon Common. On the day of the murder, Colin had suffered from a headache which shortened his daily walk and he ended up back at home by 9.25am. With his headache still not gone, Colin takes some painkillers and takes a nap. The murder took place at around 10.20am. This means that at the time of the murder, Colin was at home taking a nap. Colin Stagg was wrongly charged for the murder and sexual assault of Rachel Nickell. Police even set up a honey trap which lasted around five months to get his confession, but Colin didn't confess as he was innocent. On the 14th of September 1994, the case against Stagg is thrown out by Mr Justice Ognall due to lack of evidence linking him to the crime. Robert Napper is a British murderer and rapist who was convicted of two murders, two rapes and two attempted rapes. Unfortunately, while the police were going after the innocent Colin Stagg, Napa murdered two individuals, Samantha and Jasmine Bissett, aged four, on the 3rd of November 1993. On the 17th of May 1994, Napa's fingerprints were identified at the scene of the murders, as well as a shoe print. His DNA was also matched to that of the green chain rapist. On the 4th of December 2007, Napa is charged with the killing of Rachel Nickell 15 years after the murder. On the 18th of December 2008, Napa pleads guilty to manslaughter. Why didn't law enforcement charge Napa sooner? In November, Napa's mother called the police to say that her son had raped a woman. However, Napa was never questioned for this. There were multiple rapes leading up to the murder of Rachel Nickell, so shouldn't this have been important information? His name was also mentioned to the police, and he failed to turn up for two blood tests. Shouldn't this have been a warning? He was also seen spying on someone, isn't pursued, and an officer even writes that Napa, in quotes, should be considered as a possible rapist. All this before Stagg was charged with the murder of Rachel Nickell.
the IPCC commissioner stated, It is clear that throughout the investigations into the Green Chain rapes and Rachel Nickel's death, there was a catalogue of bad decisions and errors made by the Metropolitan Police. Paul Britton's involvement. A month after the murder of Rachel Nickel, police enlisted the help of a profiler, Paul Britton. Police were unable to tell the gender of the attacker and thought that a criminal profiler may help. Britton believed that the killer was someone in their 20s or 30s, probably lived on their own, only partakes in isolated hobbies, doesn't live far from the common, has an interest in knives and the occult, and has sadistic fantasies. Police believe Colin Stagg fitted this description as he was known to live a rather quiet life. A complaint was made that he had exposed himself in the park, but Stagg claims that he was just sunbathing. Colin had books on the occult. It was known that he took his dog on walks along Wimbledon Common. To test Britain's theory on the profile of this murderer, now we know that it's Napper, let's see if he fits his profile. Napper was around mid-twenties when he killed Rachel Nickel. To my knowledge, Napper did live alone as his mother threw him out at the age of 18. Napper lived relatively close to the common. However, it depends on how Britain would define close. Does he mean a two minute walk or 12 miles? Napper stabbed Rachel Nickel and Samantha Bissett, but strangled Samantha's daughter, Jasmine, Napa was also reported of attempted rapes at knife point. This would suggest that Napa's go-to weapon was a knife, but we cannot be sure that he had an interest in them. To my knowledge, there is no evidence to suggest that Napa had an interest in the occult. According to The Guardian, Napa associated his own gratification with the distress of victims. He mixed anger and sadism with sex. It's a paired form of sadism appeared to be enhanced by making a mother feel the ultimate fear, recognition that she could not save her child. Do you think Britain's profile is accurate?